Jim there she is. is right here. Bushwick is in the house, everybody. Amanda, Amanda Serrano, Serrano, seven division world champion. This you talk about a great platform for Sunday night co-main event on a Jake Paul pay per view. We know how much you've deserved, maybe more than you've gotten from fans, from journalists, for just recognizing the great, the pound for pound greatness that you are one of the the greatest of all time. Your, your record speaks for itself. How big is it now to get to show that on the pay per view level on a fight card this large? It's definitely amazing. You know, we worked so hard for this opportunity, for this great, um, this great platform, and it's not for me. You know, this is for the sport of women's boxing. We want to showcase that, you know, we deserve this. Um, and I'm not just fighting to defend my titles. I'm, def I'm fighting to defend the, the sport of women's boxing. And I promise to all the women out there, I'm going to put on a hell of a show. And I know my my opponent is going to do nothing less than that too. You're the you're the most decorated boxer on this card, right? That's fair to say, isn't it? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I'm not sure you can find, you know, when it's a like current Manny Pacquiao in terms of boxing yeah, history and being decorated. So that. So let me ask you this: Given what you've accomplished, what, what is the bucket list for you? Is it a certain kind of fight? Is it another title? When you think about what stone you haven't overturned, what is it? Well, it's definitely to become undisputed champion. You know, right now it's the undisputed era. I have um, three of the of the five, and I definitely want to go go for that. Hopefully, next fight I get through this fight um, healthy. And well, and we go for the other champions. Uh, the, the best part about Five and Followed Your Career is you, you showed that in your last fight against Daniela Bermudez. It was maybe the toughest challenge of your career, maybe one of your most well, you know, perfect, well-rounded performances is you can outbox a foe, you can walk him down and knock him out. Heck, I mean, you'll fight in eight different weight classes if you had to, but it's going to be Mexico versus Puerto Rico on Sunday night against yeah. Mercado, who uh, I'm sure is ready to bite down and have her biggest moment. Does this have war written all over it? How do you sort of look ahead to that? 100% war. When you just say Mexico, Puerto Rico versus Mexico, then you have champion versus champion. She's younger than me. She's hungry. She has um, all of Mexico um, depending on her to, to get this victory. But I'm Puerto Rican. Yo tengo la sangre de Latino, Latina, Boricua. And um, I'm going out there, and uh, she's going to have to do everything she, she can possibly to beat me. You are, or interestingly, you've trained MMA, you've fought MMA as well, so you know what Tyron Woodley has to do in the main event. What's been hard about going back and forth between the training types to get ready for a competitive fight? Well, MMA is a totally different sport than boxing. I've been doing um, boxing for 10 plus years, and um, just the mindset of being able to get kicked, to get elbowed, to get kneed, and to be taken down, that's definitely the hardest part for me. I've been so used to be on, on my feet and stand up, so... Definitely wrestling, jiu-jitsu, but I've been working hard on on, on those um, uh, arts as well. So. Uh, so here's what's interesting about this card is there's something for everybody. Tyson Fury's brother's on there. That brings in another clientele. But you've had firsthand experience in Puerto Rico at the Paul Brothers camp. You know, you're on all access with them, getting to meet them, train with them. You and I, as a journalist, you as a fighter, are hardcore, old-school boxing fans. We're not necessarily welcoming the YouTubers in. What can you say, though, about what you learned about who Jake Paul is? the fighter underneath all that listen I honestly I thought the same thing in the beginning um, didn't know if it was just for views for likes whatever the case may be but he's come back and each opponent is getting better and better and I, I was in, it was an honor for me to train with him in the gym and he's a hard worker just as he's a hard a businessman and his YouTube and his businesses he's um he's training for real you know it's not it's not hard I mean, it's not easy work that he's doing in the gym and I'm super honored that he gave me this opportunity to um, fight on the undercard. He wanted a woman fight on, and I was the chosen one. So I'm truly blessed, and it's too bad that I'm going to steal the show from him, though. Oh, oh wow, wow. <laughs> we got to let the champ go, but I want to close with this. You'll be facing Mercado Sunday night, co-main event, two of your featherweight world titles at stake. It's hard to interview you and not bring up Katie Taylor because you guys okay. were almost going to fight. You knew we were going to ask. And, and is that the it's biggest? Okay. Is that the most decorated, biggest fight that can be made in women's boxing right now? How do we get there? I definitely believe so. Um, like I said, my goal is definitely to become undisputed champion. I want to become the undisputed champion in my weight class, my natural weight class, and then after that, um, I go win undisputed champion in another weight class. Are you trying <laughs> to be a champion in MMA, or is it just a fun thing to get extra oh. money? Or no, it's definitely a goal to to become. Um, um, champion in MMA and boxing at the same time. Even though it's really, really hard, but I think I, I'm a hard worker, and I definitely, I think I can do it. But yeah, I definitely want to become MMA it's champion. I mean, I think if anyone can do it, it's got to be you, right? Thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. All right, well, Amanda Serrano, co-main event. Can't wait to see what happens, and best of luck to you against Mercado. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Have a good there night. There she is. Bye.
August 29th, Tyrone's walking into hell. He's just gonna burn alive. It's gonna be embarrassing as fuck. I think Jake, some of his antics, I don't think it's disrespect. I think it's a mental warfare because you gotta recognize how much experience I have. I gotta keep reminding myself he's a child that, you know, he's doing things that somebody his age should be doing. I think with every fight, my confidence grows and grows and grows. Beating Ben Askren, I was just like, damn, like I can really punch someone. Jake is nervous about this fight. You know, he's nervous in the face-offs. He said, I see fear and you haven't had enough face-offs to see fear. I've looked at somebody and I've seen fear and I knew it was gonna be over with in the first round. You can't say in two and a half fights that you've done that. I'm naturally talented, gifted, naturally athletic, naturally powerful. I'm also just a really fucking hard worker and I show up every single day, do every single thing right. That's what has made me a real shark fighter. We have to go eight hard rounds, I'm ready.